Calvin, my guy, thank you for coming on, my friend. And um, you are a you are a member inside Client Ascension. You've been in for about six months now. Could you share with everybody what revenue level you joined Client Ascension at and where you are now? And then we can dive a little bit deeper into it. Sounds good. Yo, Daniel, thanks for having me on, man. So when I first joined Client Ascension, I was at 4K a month. Uh, my agency is pretty much going nowhere. Uh, now I'm at 30K a month. 33k a month uh, ho hopefully hitting 35 this month uh but yeah it's been a great great journey so far really happy with it to be honest good stuff brother what is um if you had to explain for somebody say say somebody's in a position and they're running an agency and they're at 4k well the first off you, your type of agency is is video content yeah yeah so i run a basically a post-production agency uh so we specialize in video editing and graphic design and basically companies outsource their creative production post-production to us instead of hiring someone in-house or ship freelancers yeah, yeah yeah fair enough what is if you had to explain the difference between running like a 4k a month business and a 33k per month business what would you describe that as like what is the difference between you being at 4k a month and versus you being at 33k a month i think the number one thing that i learned in these past six months is First of all, don't work with poor clients. Like I hear you say that all the time. That is literally the number one thing like I learned because at 4K a month, I was actually doing 25 clients <laughs> at 4K a month. So it was, it was fucking awful, wasn't it? It was, a, it was some local client paying like dog shit rates basically. So that, that's the number one thing I learned. Uh, let go almost like 90% of that. Uh, and then basically just started having the confidence on actually, okay, uh, I'm in Client Ascension. I've taken cold email mastery before uh, from you as well. And then, okay, I know how to get these high ticket clients. So I'm going to focus on that. And the main difference, service fulfillment for me was actually pretty much the same. But lead generation and sales, those two are the main, main things I learned inside of Client Ascension because those two I was really struggling with considering I was only running local clients in Indonesia. And then I had to like, okay, I'm now learning to actually get clients from abroad in the US, Europe, and you know, everywhere. So yeah, I would yeah. say those, those are very different. Yeah. So basically just targeting higher quality businesses, how to structure an offer to sell to higher quality businesses for, yeah. for more money. And basically that's it. Yeah. That, that is it. Yeah. And obviously yeah. the sales process that comes into that, because before I joined Client Ascension, like taking sales calls for me was just, okay, like, what do you need? That's it. And I would just, I would just let the prospect guide me through it instead of the other way around. And that's what changed mm -hmm. drastically when I, when I joined Client Ascension. Yeah. And now you, and, and now it's over about 10 times more money for, for one tenth the amount of clients now. So it's like a completely different operational infrastructure yeah. with which you, you run the business and. I'd imagine you see it now where it's when, when you get it, you get it. And you're probably sitting here and you're like, oh, yeah, I mean, I'll be at 60K a month in X amount of months because it's just the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, that's 100%. That's pretty right. much how it works. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just systems by now, honestly. Uh, just hired an SDR as well. Just taught, taught her how to do the same, the same stuff I did the, these past few months. And it's just basically volume. That's another thing I learned really well, uh, just volume, right? I think, I think I messaged you, I think a month, two months ago, I was stuck at 20K or 19K. And then you literally just, bro, you just need to do more. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's actually true. I just did more. And then I broke through the plateau. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, but, but then it's like the actual facilitation of how to do, how to do more yeah, in the first place, for instance. So it's like, all right, cool. If you're running cold emails, and let's say you're doing kind of like a, I'll just take one random strategy, like a loom strategy. Like, hey, do you like, I, I can send you a video on how this works. And it's like, okay, well then you're gonna sit here doing looms all day. So it's like, all right, so let's get an SDR and train them on how to do the looms correctly and then have them facilitate these sales conversations. And then you arise into a situation where you have some mechanized process of doing lead generation. You have some labor force that is facilitating that mechanized process. And then you have clients getting onboarded and then the fulfillment of the client stuff is also mechanized. So is that like yeah. kind of where you are now where it's, it, 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 you have like labor force behind it and it's actually like, it feels like a business now. 
Bro, honestly, uh, I don't think this can be applied to everyone, probably like loads of people in climate science are in Europe and US, uh, because, but because I'm here, the third world country, I actually have 23 people on staff. So it is a system already. Like I don't do any fulfillment anymore. I actually just don't. Uh, I do sometimes if I just want to ask like how, how, how they're liking the service, but it's just like, you know, it's more to client connections. But as you said, it's all just mechanics now, fulfillment wise, lead generation wise. And then obviously, uh, I mean, I still take sales calls, half of them, uh, just because I want to see the lead quality. But uh, most of it, it's just, you know, as you've said, it already feels like a business and that's why I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. And that, that's what makes it when you, when you get to that point where I feel like that transition from to get from, I'd say around anywhere from like 10 to 15 up to like 30 is that's when you have to start doing actual, you, you kind of start doing some, some big boy shit around there where it's like, okay, let's actually hire people and whatnot. Cause it's super yeah. easy for someone to, it's if you've never done it before, it seems super hard. But if you, if you tell someone it's like, do getting any business or any service business to 10 K a month is like the easiest thing ever. And then you have to go through some, like, it's a, an entire reworking of your mind of how you have to operate to, to double. And I feel like there's always, there's a reworking of every like doubling of your business. So it's like getting from like up to 10, is kind of just like one thing. It's just offer, get people and like you're doing the fulfillment, yeah. whatever. And then to get to like 20 to 30, it's like, no, now you need team to help you to do this. And then 30 to 60 is kind of a little bit different as well. And obviously you're getting into that. So like you'll, you'll kind of be focusing more on like the back end of, of, of client ascension now, like more of that operational type yeah. area of it, what would be considered like the ending portion of it. And then, yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty much a straight line to like a hundred K a month. Like yeah, thing. I'm honestly just uh, looking forward to it. Uh, basically just want to make sure that, you know, leads are coming in, calls are coming in. In terms of fulfillment, as you've said, been diving into like actual management, setting goals for your team, you know, uh, that's that's part of the challenge I'm facing right now. Uh, it's basically because now, okay, I have all these people, right? And I need to give them direction, right? You can't micromanage people, right? You don't, you don't, want, to, you don't want to put people on a leash, but that's one of the things I'm learning inside as well. And yeah, it's been interesting. Yeah, good stuff, brother. If, if, if someone was at like, um... Say there's some agency owner they're at any, I don't know, like 2K to 5K a month or something like that. If you had to give them just one piece of advice to get up to like 10, 20, 30, what, what would that be? Honestly, if you're at 2K and then you have all the knowledge, especially if you're on Twitter, I'm going to, this, this is for people, especially like inside the sphere of money, Twitter. If you're not at 10K yet, it's either you haven't done the work yet or you've done the work and time just hasn't caught up in my opinion. Because if you actually do put effort into it and you're not like stupid, like if, if you're not like actually like brain dead stupid, you, you'll probably get there at one point if, you're, if, you, if you actually do the work. Uh, but definitely for me, volume is like number one because it, it, it's like you can't, you, you need to focus on the inputs, right? I know it's cliche, but whenever, whenever I'm stuck at somewhere and then I look back, at that time, I just realized I just didn't do enough. And that's it. Like the results will take care of itself if you actually care about getting results for your clients and providing them actually good service. Yeah, I, I, I would, I'll, for everyone watching, I want to make something extremely clear to them that there's like a lot of people get sold this dream of, oh, you can make 10, 20, 30K a month and do nothing. And it's like, no. Does yeah. doesn't work like that. So it's like I I see what you, what you're doing to get from 4k to 33k a month. It's you're showing up every day and you're working all day. And like like what you just said is like hey like put in the work. I think people have a warped conception of what the work actually is, and sure. it's 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 an extreme persistent constant effort that you never ever give up on. And I'm sure you experienced this where it's like. Yeah, you put in work and it feels like nothing is happening for so long and then you win all at once. It's true. So true. And then I think a lot of the, pe the things people see on Twitter, YouTube, they only focus on client acquisition. I think not a lot of people talk about, okay, yeah, you got to 20K a month, but if it goes to 5K a month the next month, that doesn't mean, like, that doesn't mean shit. 
right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I found as well. Scaling up my business is okay. Yes, I want to have more clients, but the current clients I have to have to make sure they stay, right? Especially if you're hiring, if you're hiring people and then the clients go, then that's that's like a fucking nightmare right there. So uh, that's one of the things that not a lot of people talk about, but it's really really important client retention for me. Facts, brother. Thank you so much for coming on. I'm going to leave links to all your stuff in the description below. I appreciate you very much. You are the man. Appreciate you, man.